Hello my beautiful Taurus, how are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This particular reading is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and Taurus Rising. For those of you that uh, would like to listen to this as it relates to your love life or your emotional life, uh, you can listen to this, especially if you have a Venus, Mars, or Jupiter in Taurus in your natal chart. And thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. For those of you that would like a subscription to this YouTube channel, please make sure that you click on the notification button and the little bell. Make sure it's wiggling for all notifications. And for some of you, you may want to bookmark this as well. For others of you, if you would like a consultation with me or if you would like a uh, membership to my website, you can certainly go to the link below and you can purchase a membership or a consultation there. Thank you so much for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. Taurus, my beautiful, beautiful bowls, I am wishing you the most amazing November and December ever. So we are going to go ahead and get right into it. Let's see what we've got going on for the beautiful Taurians out there. What is going on for the beautiful Tauruses for the month of November of 2019? What is going on for the Tauruses for the month of November of 2018? Spirit guides, archangels, guardian angels, and masters, and spirit guides all surround us now. And we ask for clear communication regarding what we can expect for the month of November of 2018 for the beautiful Taurians. All right. Okay, Taurus. Taurus, I'm feeling... Um, uh, unbelievably calm right now and the thing is is as many of you know I'm not a very calm person I mean like I get very into things I get very um, rambunctious and I get very you know intense sometimes militant and other times but your energy that I'm picking up right now is very very calm one of being like I almost feel like you're just drifting in a way, we're going to get into it, Taurus. I don't know exactly what's going on with you, but we'll get into it as to what is going on with you. But I just feel a sense of calm. I feel a sense of relief. I feel a sense of, okay. Um, <laughs> so I'll tell you what I'm being told. Um, I don't give a shiat, <laughs> okay? I don't give a shiat about what is going on right now. I've got enough going on in my life and I need to stay calm and I need to stay collected because things are coming down the pike that I need to handle and I'm not going to let anybody cause any issues in my life whatsoever. I'm going to stay very, very calm. That's what's coming up, Taurus. I don't know why this is coming up this way, but this is how it is coming up. So we're going to go ahead and cut the deck because we've already shuffled. All right, Taurus, what do we have going on for you for the month of November of 2019 for your general energies? You do have the Ace of Cups, beautiful Taurus. This is um, beautiful love, beautiful kindness, beautiful um, abundance of uh, spiritual life, uh, love life, emotional fulfillment. It's so, so very, very beautiful. It's, it's a covenant of some sort. It is for some of you out there, you're finally getting rid of water weight. I'm hearing for some of you Taurians out there, so just be aware of that. So what do we have going on for your work life and financial life? You do have the Empress card. Uh, wow, Taurians, you are making yourself known. Venus in Taurus. This is Venus in Taurus, and it is what it is. So Venus in Taurus and Taurus people, you're ruled by Venus. This is a Taurus Libra card, or it could be a Venus in Taurus. Like, for example, if you're... A Gemini and you've got a Venus and Taurus well this could also be you okay but this Empress this is mother energy something going on about your mother something about finances with your mother taking care of your mother needing to ensure that your mother is taken care of this could be coming up here for some Tauruses out there you could be getting pregnant or there could be talk of pregnancy for whatever reason Taurus some of you your water is breaking when you've got these two cards together your water is breaking Taurus so if you're pregnant around this time, your water's breaking. I'm just letting you know right now. And it's it's almost like, it's so funny, Taurus. I'm seeing you, like if you're the one that's pregnant, I'm seeing you calming everybody else down. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like your water breaks and you're like, okay, you need to do this and you need to do this. 
And it's like everybody else is freaking out but the woman who's pregnant. <laughs> It's just amazing. Oh my gosh, Taurus, you do have that energy. You know that you do. You are that mother energy, that nurturing energy. It's like, okay, calm down. The number is in the top drawer and the keys are over there. Take a deep breath. You know, I mean, that's what I see coming up for some of you out there. This could also be with projects. So if you're not giving birth, Taurus, whether you're a female or a male, this is about projects. This is about... Um, Something going on here relative to uh, needing to get a project on Taurus and you staying calm about it. You being like, okay, let's just work through this. Let's go through this. Let's make sure that everybody's on the same page. Um, I'm not going to get too uh, crazy about this whole thing. I'm just going to move on and I'm just going to take it one day at a time. Okay, so what have we got going on for your uh, emotional life and your love life? You do have the chariot card. So now, Taurus, we've got a Cancerian, a Gemini, or a Piscean person in your life as well. Uh, this could be a person that's interested in you. You could be interested in them. You could be traveling to see them. They could be traveling to see you. Something about uh, travel, something about um, moving for some of you, something about a car or transportation or getting a new car or thinking about getting a new car, getting your car fixed in the month of November or near this time frame is definitely coming up here as well. Some of you Tauruses may be getting your mother's car fixed or you might be buying a car for your mother or your mother wants you to take care of her car or maybe you're getting your mother's car. Something's going on here, Taurus, regarding this. So I just kind of want to make you aware of that. So what do we have going on for your health and your well-being, Taurus? You do have the King of Pentacles, so now you've got a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo person. Wow, you've got a lot of people in your reading in the month of November. So there's a, a, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo person affecting your health, Taurus. Um, or this could also be Taurus that you paid, you successfully paid off a massive medical bill. And you're looking, for some reason, Taurus, I see you looking at your finances very carefully, like you're projecting. Okay, so you're you're going in, you're looking at your finances, you're saying, okay, I made this much this month, I made this much the next month. And it's almost like you're putting the two months together and you're seeing what your net is, and then you're adding that, and then you're able to project out for, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> wow, Taurus, you might have, Something going on, because we are talking about the King of Pentacles, something about communication with a with an earth sign, another earth sign, Taurus. So something might be going on with you regarding an, a communication with another earth sign. I'm almost crying as well. Taurus, I don't know if an earth sign made you cry or you made a, an earth sign cry, but something is coming up here, Taurus, so I just want to make you aware of that. But I am seeing you project out into the future regarding what your... Um, value is or valuation of something or being able to project how much money you're going to make every three months, every four months, every five months, and what do you need to do to maintain that. That's coming in for some of you out there. For others of you Torians out there, I am getting that this King of Pentacles is affecting your health. This is all about putting money down uh, for a new workout program, a new diet, um, it's, it's really starting to value yourself and knowing that you've got to take care of yourself in order to um, function every single day because, you know, you have to depend on you and this is what this is about. So this is what is coming up for some of you Torians out there. So relative to this whole reading, for the Ace of Cups for the general reading, I mean, you definitely have a lot of love, a lot of compassion. Somebody's water might be breaking. Um... I just heard somebody's heart might be breaking. Taurus, did you break somebody's heart or did somebody break your heart? Because I'm hearing it and it's almost like, it's almost like Taurus, you don't even care because when they had you, they didn't appreciate you. And I don't know why I'm getting this Taurus, but for some of you, it feels like this to me. It feels like this person did not appreciate you when they had you and now they're crying. That's what I'm getting. But for some of you Taurus, it could be the other way around, but that's just what I'm seeing here. And as it relates to your work life and financial life, new projects, birthing new projects, getting a new deal, getting a mortgage, getting a loan, um, anything having to do with motherhood is coming up as it relates to your finances. You might work in a, 
in an OBGYN clinic. So just be aware of that. Something about uh, OB and obstetrics uh, coming up for some of you uh, Tauruses out there uh, relative to maybe a new project or something like that as well. Okay, at a hospital. Or this could definitely be your mother needing money from you or your mother giving you money. And then you do have the uh, chariot card, which is all about movement, moving forward, keeping your cards close to your chest, but talking about transportation. So some of you might be talking about transportation with your loved one, with your significant other. This could also be needing to ask your significant other questions where you may answer back as another question. It's like, so how do you feel about that? And then your answer back would be, well, why are, why are you caring about how I feel? You know, it's like you're you're answering questions with more questions. And this would be a wise thing to do, Taurus, just to get down to the bottom of a situation. But it's coming up here. Some of you might be traveling with loved ones here in the month of November to go see family, to go see your mother, to go on vacation, whatever it is. It does look very, very beautiful. And something about talking about transportation as far as getting a new car, getting a new motorcycle, getting a new bicycle, any mode of transportation whatsoever. Um, I just heard for some of you, one of you is talking about a plane or a plane, a trip on a plane, okay, or getting a plane. I I mean, I don't know how many of you watch this that, you know, can, you know, afford a plane, but for some of you out there, you might be getting a plane or you might be taking flying lessons. That could be what's going on for some of you out there as well. And I'm not knocking anybody that has a lot of money that watches these videos or if you don't have a lot of money that watch, it, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just saying something is coming up about planes. All right, so that's just the way it is. King of Pentacles here is, and that's what I love about you, Taurus, is you are just like, you're so practical. You're like, all right, B, just move on. You know? <laughs> okay, thank you so much. So anyway, um, the King of Pentacles for your health and your well-being is you're putting money down in your health and your well-being. You're paying off a large medical bill, or there is a medical bill that could be coming in for some of you out there. But there also could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo person that is affecting your health for whatever reason. So, and this person might be your mother, all right? Or this person might be your father, but it's definitely coming up here. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and let's move into the month of December of 2019. What's going on for Tauruses for December of 2019? Using the Barbie Airy Tarot, beautiful Tauruses, what have we got going on for you? Beautiful Tauruses, what's going on? My beautiful bulls, my stubborn but beautiful, beautiful bulls. <laughs> Okay, you guys really are beautiful and you know it. <laughs> You've got this presence that's just like, I'm here. I don't need to be acknowledged, but if I am acknowledged, I'm going to let you know that I am the bomb shiznit. All right, so that's just what, the way I feel about this. All right, Taurus, here we go. Oh, Taurus, Taurus, what's going on for December of 2019? Taurus, what is your general energy? Taurus, what is your general energy? General energy for Taurus. You do have the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful card, Taurus, especially underneath the Ace of Cups. So Taurus, what I'm sensing here for your general energy is that something is going on here regarding uh, inheritance, regarding the family, regarding the legacy regarding the love of the legacy. I feel like some of you just love your family or you love the legacy of your family. You want to reinstate the integrity of your legacy. And this is certainly coming up here. Now, whether this could be from something that you had as a child that you want to reinstate, that you want to redo, that you want to bring back to the surface or address, okay? For others of you, it might be something going on right now that you're looking into. So just kind of be aware of that particular type of energy. This is definitely having to do with finances as well. So certainly something coming up here, Taurus is relative to the home, relative to doing um, something about um, plumbing or pipes in the home as well. So just be aware of that, uh, redoing the home, renovating the home, renovating a room in the home, whatever it is, it might have something to do with a fountain, a backyard fountain, landscaping, or a hot tub, or something like that, a pool, Taurus, this is certainly coming up here. So what do we have going on as it relates? Family is really, really big right now as well. So what do we have going on as it relates to the Empress? We just had a card pop out. Okay. 
Oh, wow, Taurus, you've got the world. Okay, you've got the world. So this is a completion, Taurus. And the world here is basically stating that um, this is a completion. So for some of you Tauruses, um, you are completing your gestation period or whatever. Like you're having your ch you're having your child. You're getting ready to have your child. So congratulations on the new addition to your home. For others of you out there, this does not necessarily have to be a pregnancy. It could just be bringing a child into the home. Maybe you're adopting right now. And for other Tauruses out there, this could be a, a child is coming back home. And this is really beautiful energy. This could also be. Uh, for some of you Tauruses out there in the month of December where a mother is coming in and she's coming in from across the way, like she might be traveling the world. She might be traveling at this moment in time and now she's coming back home to spend the holidays with you for Christmas or whatever. For other of you Tauruses out there as it relates to the world, you might in the month of December be buying somebody a trip. You might be buying somebody a vacation for a Christmas gift. And what a beautiful Christmas gift that is. Or you might be receiving one as well, Taurus. But as it relates to financial uh, work here, in the month of December, it looks like there is a project that has been in the birthing stages and now it is complete. Congratulations, Taurus. You are about to see the fruits of your labor. And this is in anything, banking, loans, finance, building, uh, dealing with a project, building a home, building, redoing your whatever. In December, it looks like it's completed. And how beautiful is this, Taurus? So let's get into the emotional life and love life. So Taurus, what's going on with your emotional life and love life in the month of December of 2018? Oh, sorry guys, it's upside down. All of these are upright. <laughs> three of Pentacles, I'll read it both ways. Three of Pentacles reversed and three of Pentacles upright. I do feel for a lot of Taurians out there, you are working with a significant other. You are trying to uh, talk about the plans of a situation. How are we going to do this? How are we going to present this? How are we going to present ourselves? What are we going to do when we come out and let everybody know that we're dating? Let everybody know that we're together. Let everybody know what's going on. This is that energy in the month of December. It's almost like for some of you Taurians out there, it's as though... I don't know why, Taurus, I'm getting a surprise. It's almost like you're the surprise, like you're the gift or your significant other is the gift or the prize or the surprise for Christmas. It's like your family doesn't even know that you're bringing your significant other or their family doesn't know that they're bringing you and it's a surprise and it's like you're looking at it, right? For others of you Taurians out there, something is going to be released in the month of December relative to a project you've been working on. And this is a partnership. This is something where you've gotten really close to the people that you work with as well. Now, for others of you Tauruses out there, for whatever reason, it appears to me that there is going to be something that is uncovered regarding a third party situation. It's something that's going to be uncovered. It's something that is going to be pretty much out for the whole world to see Taurus. It's almost as though you're saying, you know what? Um, it's about time I spoke up. It's about time that I put this together. It's about time that everybody knew what was going on. And I'm just going to let her rip. And it's just like bombshell is what I'm hearing, Taurus. Now, Taurus, you might somebody might be calling you a bombshell. Or you might be calling somebody else a bombshell. But this is something coming up here, uh, Taurus, here in the uh, month of December of 2019 relative to your emotional life and love life that has uh, everything to do with uh, what you might be revealing or what you might be planning here in the month of December. So what do we have going on as it relates to your health and your well-being for the month of December, Taurus? Death. So Taurus, health and well-being. Taurus, I am sensing for some of you Taurians out there, there is someone that may have just passed away or has passed away. For other Taurians out there, um, death is all about death and rebirth. It's all about transformation. It's all about, especially in the health arena, you might be dealing with holiday deaths. Okay, so you might have a friend that has a loved one that passes away. For others of you Tauruses out there, what's coming up here is that you are going through a death and rebirth phase. You are going through a time right now where you are deciding, I've got to get rid of this and I have to start 
on a new you know, program, on a new schedule, and I've got to make sure that this is what's happening here. And for some of you Tauruses out there, you could be paying for a funeral, you could be helping to pay for a funeral, you could be helping someone pay their medical bills, whatever it is, Taurus, but this is certainly coming up here, and I don't like to say that when we think of death, right? When we think of death, but this could also be, Taurus, that there is something still toxic in your environment that you need to get rid of in order to get yourself healthy and get yourself moving again and get yourself receptive to the positive energies around you. All right. Okay, Taurus, there you go. There is your reading for the month of November and December. Please make sure you understand that these are not readings to um, to validate what you're going through right now. Sometimes it can happen that way. But a lot of times, especially with me, I'd say the minute you hear this, give it three to eight days and you're going to start seeing things transpire. But this goes all the way up to the beginning of January. So just be aware that that energy is kind of circulating around you right now. The other thing I'm kind of seeing with this too is I feel as though, Taurus, that there is a project, whether it be a project with a divorce, a project with a work, a project with the home, whatever it is, it's completing. So I want you to be aware that something has reached its completion. When you have the world card and you have the death card in the same section of reading, it tells of a completion, the end, period, stick a fork in it, it's done. Okay, so just want to make you aware of that Taurus. And for some of you, this is going to be fabulous because it is going to be a project that has finally been completed after a period of time that has been very difficult. And now you'll be able to see the fruits of your labor. Now, for those of you interested in finding out what all these energies are about and why they're here and what the advice is, certainly Join me and consider getting a membership to my website to access all of the extendeds for this upcoming November and December. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.